Hey guys, so today I am going to be trying some dresses from Wish. I am in my living room today, hopefully that's all right. There might be a little uh, couple, you know, like street noise sounds, maybe my refrigerator, but I'll try to do my best at cutting all that out. I ordered a bunch of really extra dresses from Wish a month or so ago, and I have five of them, and one just didn't make it, so we're gonna go with what I have. When I was looking for these dresses, I tried to basically go with things that were either like latex or like velvet or really sparkly or really poofy, like just really extra dresses that weren't like super overpriced. I wasn't about to spend 60 or 80 or $100 on a dress from Wish. So I did try to keep it, I think around 15, maybe 20 and under. So these are still like super affordable if they turn out to be good. If they are still available and stuff, I will link them below because why not? And I actually ordered things, I think in small this time. You guys know I'm still struggling with the whole size thing. Some of them I think I did order up if it said it was in Chinese sizing. So that's just, you know, something we'll have to figure out. But I say I'm just gonna grab a package and we can kind of just start. All right, so here's this one. This one smells really, really bad. So I think this one is supposed to be deep V-neck, white sparkly prom dress, vintage shiny evening gown, low back white, tulle wedding gown. So this one's supposed to be a wedding gown. I wanted to try all different types. I thought that would be fun. I ordered this one in a medium. And honestly, I feel like the smell on this is making me feel a little sick. I'm not sure what's up with it, but it's just like really strong. Let me put this on and we'll, we'll see if this is wedding worthy. Since I'm doing this in my living room with natural light, I'm gonna try to like make sure no one can see me change. <laughs> All right, so here is this. It's um very interesting. Oh, you know what? I have something that'll make this so much better. I got these shoes a day or so ago and I really need an excuse to wear them. I mean, I'm gonna wear these while we try stuff on because it's extra and these are extra. These are from Steve Madden, by the way. Totally like not spawns or anything. I just really like them. For the Winona rhinestone. There we go. Now if this doesn't say extra, I don't know what does. So this I think was about $15. I don't think it's even worth $15. You can actually like almost see my underwear through this despite having like a couple layers. You'd have to wear white under and it's just cut and it's really cheap and it's also really, really itchy. Here is it up close. This is just not flattering like at all. Like what even is this? Oh, here is the back by the way. We're gonna ignore the black bra. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a definite no, especially it was like a wedding dress. You gonna wear this on your wedding day? Hmm, I don't think so. You could probably find like a better like wedding dress at like Windsor or something for like 40 bucks. Let's try, this one is a smaller one. All right, still not sure what this one is. Although I pretty much almost exclusively wear like black or maybe some pink pastels, I did try to change it up. I don't think I ordered everything in black. Ooh, okay, this is the velvet one. Little mini black velvet dress, although the strings are already uh, coming way undone. All right, well, you know what? I paid $6 for this. I got it in a size small. Hopefully it'll fit. And you know what? $6, can I, mean, can I really complain? It does, the fabric does look okay. I'd be interested to see what happens when you wash it. But let's just, Try it. So something about this shirt is I don't think it has a certain back or front. It's sort of almost the same and either I think it goes like this, but you could honestly get it really confused. Okay, you know what? This one's actually so cute. I'm gonna keep this one and maybe I'll actually wear it. I have my bra tucked in, so bear with. Okay, I really hope that this is in focus. I don't have 
a monitor set up right now. I'm slacking, I know. But isn't this so cute? I actually really love it. It's not too short. I can pull it down a little bit more if I need. I feel like it's tight, but not too tight. And there's like just enough give in the fabric that it's not looking like I'm like a stuffed sausage. This one, 10 out of 10, worth worth the $6. Now the only thing is I think that there could have possibly been like $6 shipping, in which cases make this $12. It still could potentially be worth it if it lasts through the wash and it can actually be worn like over and over. Cause it is pretty thin, but it's not like see-through at the same time. I don't know. But I really, really like it. I'm not used to wearing heels, so if you see me like wobbling over, it's because I am. Okay, this one, definitely good. I'll link this one below for sure. Okay, another big one. Okay, so I think this is maybe like another prom style dress. Ah, uh-huh, this one is a woman's sequins, bridesmaids, formal gown ball, cocktail party. Evening prom dress. So this is a prom or a bridesmaid's gown. So I paid $8 and I got this in a small and it's in pink. So let's... Okay, so here is this one. Interesting looking. A lot of strappiness going on. Does this look like the picture? I already feel like I want to give this one a hard no on if it looks like the pictures or not, but we'll see. All right, so I decided to do this one without a bra because it really, really doesn't work with one so you guys can see my very sad, sad weight loss. Okay, that's what happens. Lose weight, okay, okay. So this is real interesting. I feel like unless you have a lot to fill out, um, and you are very perky, this is not gonna work for you. Also, these are stretchy, which I've never seen before. Like, they just... But here's the back. I literally can't zip this up for no reason. I just feel like, oh, of course. I've been trying to zip it up for like five minutes the second I say that. So, here's this. I feel like if this maybe actually like stayed up, you might have a chance, but there is just so much room and especially with the, the how's this supposed to hold anything up is what i don't understand it's not like it's tight either it just i mean anyway also it is see-through you know i'm just gonna say it's not gonna make good bridesmaids dress all right it's just not gonna happen oh you know what you can wear this and your bridesmaids can wear this all right i'm very uncomfortable on this one i'm gonna Try a different one. I'm dumb, I forgot to open it. So this one is pretty small. Oh, you know what? I think I actually got a two piece. So I think that means that I'm saving the best for last. I hope, I hope that is the latex one that I ordered and I hope the one that never made it isn't the latex one because I really wanted to try it. Okay, so this is like a little silk almost set. This seems pretty well put together actually, feeling it. The material feels really nice. No, okay, I got a medium and this was $4.75. So, I mean, this material looks pretty good and the stitching actually looks really good, really put together. So I hope for this one. You guys, I don't think I've ever put on a more unflattering bra in my entire life. I don't know how to show this without getting... So I don't think if you've ever seen anything more unflattering in your life than that. Uh, so this one has the opposite problem. Not enough room in the top. I'm actually gonna put my other shirt on over this because uh, yeah, it's not appropriate. Then I'll show you the skirt. Aside from that, this is kind of itchy and it also doesn't have like a, this is like a, just a stretchy thing. So there's no like adjustment, but it is pretty stretchy. The straps are all right too. It's just, you know, the room up here. So shirt. So here's the skirt. It actually is a little big, actually a little, kind of a lot big, which I feel like is weird because this is really small, even around the waist right here. Cause I feel like, a medium should be bigger for here because I'm a 
32 here and this is probably like an actual medium other than that though i actually like the skirt like i think it's a good quality skirt this could be worth like the five or six dollars just by itself if it actually fits you well where didn't look like this much of a mess when i started what even happened this set i'm gonna give a no-go because it just i feel like the top and the bottoms are so unproportionate i feel like that's just the problem with sets is a lot of people don't have small top small bottom or a medium top medium bottom it's like you know medium top small bottoms or you know large bottoms small top i don't know oh this one has a smell oh <gasps> it is yes okay we are in luck this one came so the one that didn't come was this one, which I am actually pretty sad about because I mean, it looked really cool and I got it in like the hollow and stuff, but we'll move on. If for some reason it comes, it's like still coming, but it's just really, 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 really late. I will pop it in some other video, maybe the next like try on haul or something or the you next know, try on haul that it comes or get ready with me or something like that. So I still feel like it's a cool dress if it comes. We'll see. All right, so I got this latex one in large and it was $14. So this was the second most expensive one that I got. And actually that wedding dress was $23. And I think it even had like a couple dollars shipping. Um, so for I think like $30, absolutely not worth it. Wow, I didn't even notice that. Okay, so $14 plus I think Almost everything actually cost quite a bit for shipping. I don't know if that's something they recently changed, but I remember a lot of it used to have free shipping or like two or three dollar shipping, but a lot of this had like five or six dollar. So I feel like some of the shipping on like the set plus the little velvet dress actually was like more than the dress itself. Ah, I'm kind of scared. I've never put on anything like this. All right, I hope it fits. It looks so small or is it tucked in? Okay, oh, it's tucked in. <laughs> this one, all of the reviews said to size up and also I bought these a month, month and a half ago and I was about 15 more pounds then. So I think I was going off of my weight then opposed to now, because now I need smalls and things and I think in this I was a medium. So hopefully this will fit. Okay, I actually think after the velvet dress, this one is the best one. Okay, so this actually fits pretty well. I probably should have gone with a medium, but I don't know about a small that might have been really, really tight. Because this one fits, but there's definitely like some extra. But I actually really, really like this. Off the bat, right off the bat, this is definitely probably the most worth it one off of that I got along with the velvet one. The other one's total bust. I think when you get things with sequins, it's kind of hard to make something really cheap with like a lot of sequins because then you end up with these like cheap looking ones and you end up getting a $30, $30 wedding dress that looks like. But this one I think probably was shipping total maybe like 20 bucks. And I actually think this is so worth it. Like it feels good quality too and it has like a soft material on the inside so it's not just like pure latex you don't need to baby powder your way into it it could be a little long i don't know if you want it to go here or maybe up here but i mean if i pulled it all the way down it could go all the way down there but i like to give it a little you know, I like to give a little give right here. There's a good amount of room in the chest area as well. Enough that you could probably also find like a bra to go with it. Like if you were actually looking for like an outfit outfit. I really like this one. I'll probably have nowhere I ever need to go for a latex outfit. But one day maybe. Here is the back side. I'm so glad I pulled these shoes out so we can get like a full you know, like outfit sort of going on all this stuff. Okay, so that is all the stuff that I got. That is all of my extra dresses from Wish. I hope you guys like this. Uh, I was sort of hoping that not so many of them were a bust. I feel like there's a still good potential for that one that could maybe be somewhere in the postal system but we'll have to wait and see on that one. I've had all of these for weeks now, so I don't have a lot of hope 
for the other one. Please make sure to give this video a like if you liked me trying on all this stuff from Wish. If you want me to try more stuff from Wish, tell me what you want me to try. I already ordered some nail sets that I'm waiting on. Other than that, you know, tell me maybe clothes or some other items if you guys want me to do a part two to this video. Maybe order this one in a proper size and then order some other stuff. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!